home for me it's here in Hoxbeck a school really. I'm saying that it's just because Hoxbeck it's a better place for me. I was born here in Hoxbeck on the farms. I've got so many years grew up here. My father was born in Kiskamauk and then he moved up to here at Hoxbeck. And then he moved down to the valley in the location which is called Kalet location. From then, he moved from Kalet to, to Msobomb location. 1986, he moved up to Hawksbeck again. And then we were here in Hawksbeck at the place called Plateskral. I moved out from my parents from just crawl here to a school and since from then I've been staying here. And then my my children were born here in, in Hawksbeck here at the place which is called a school room. There is a difference between these places. From from the, from the farms down the valley, from from Kale to location to Msobo, but sudden there was some changing, which is the difference is the the poverty. I've learned from another old man who was the handyman here in Hawksbeck. It was Ellen Weiss. The first uh, skill he did, he did showed me, it was the plumbing. We were installing geysers, doing some bathrooms, installing basin and sinks, whatever. We haven't got proper houses at the moment. We were there to occupy the old existing houses with no door frames, with no windows. And then you need to struggle to get those things to, to just to close so that you can have a shelter. About the water, we've got the water from, from the waterfall down the river. From the river we get the water from there with the pipe through to the reservoir. From the reservoir to the to the community with some pipes. Even though we've got about four taps, which is we share the taps with each other current buckets to the tap. It's not in your own space at the moment. That water has come from the river to the reservoir. From the reservoir without purification at all. Just to the taps. So then no filters on, on, on the line which goes to the taps so then that water is not uh, not quite good enough for our health at the moment. We did have lots of rain in these few months now. The waterfall is running quite smoothly but last year like November it was running slowly, just you'll never notice there is water running down there. A little bit of water running down slightly, which was like a drop in the sea. There is a plantation, lots of plantation. Uh, it's a pine trees are planted by the forestry. It's planted here, it's for making uh, furniture, which is Create, they are creating jobs for the people, but those trees are, are sucking much water. I was trying to get the, the, the youngsters from my community so that we, they can help we can help each other work together. It's, it's it's quite important for them to learn from us. So again, we can install that piping from the reservoir 
upwards the stream so that we can reuse that one which is already there along the houses so that each and every people can get water closely just because now the bottom section of the houses doesn't have water at all but the youngsters didn't want to they just dodging and say okay we are coming but nobody's bitch up it's very important for me to do things for my community just because yes i know that i can work without payment but i'm building the future so that even our children can see how life goes on in future maybe in two years time we can have our title deeds for the land we can have some some community projects so that we can use the land something like making like growing veggies something like that so that everybody can can reuse the land nobody can came up after that and say okay i'm coming to claim this piece of land it belongs to mr what what i would like to see a development for e housing sports and recreation something like e high school are those things i'd like to see happening in oxford